One provision of the governor's budget could have a major impact on a $100 million a year business. The film tax credit has put Pittsburgh into the top five of smaller filmmaking cities. That's according to Movie Maker magazine. And as Money Editor John Delano reports, that tax credit is now beginning to fall behind other states. We're so used to movie and TV companies in Pittsburgh with their Hollywood celebrities, it's easy to think this could go on forever. Not true. Pennsylvania and Pittsburgh have started to lose out to others. They go to Atlanta, they go to New Orleans, uh, but they would rather be in Pittsburgh. So why not come here? Well, it turns out that other states now offer better tax incentives. Pennsylvania's $60 million tax credit has been frozen for years, and Governor Wolf did not unfreeze it. What $60 million does is keeps us in the game. It doesn't ever let us get ahead. It's limiting the job growth. It's limiting the opportunities. Here's another problem. At $60 million, the tax credit runs out in the first six months of the fiscal year, forcing Hollywood to go elsewhere during the rest of the year. Right now, this local studio could be filled with 100 local workers. But look at it. It's empty. And that's because, says the studio owner, Pennsylvania is not competing with other states when it comes to the film tax credit. We've been empty for a few months just because we've run out of tax credits. Not because people don't want to come, because we don't have enough tax credit. 31st Street Studios has been home to big films like Batman and Will Smith's soon-to-be-released Concussion. To keep films like this here, the Pittsburgh Film Office says the state must join other states that have uncapped the tax credit. Uncapping would put, make us very, very competitive with Louisiana, with uh, uh, Atlanta, uh, with Georgia. A bipartisan group of state senators is pushing just that. Russ Streiner, who produced the iconic classic Night of the Living Dead, says of the 60 million. At the very, very least, to remain competitive, it's got to at least double. The legislature has until June 30th to address this issue. John Delano, KDKA TV News.